Hi, this is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. And I want to just go over a very brief explanation of the hardest wallpaper I've ever had to remove. And here it is. I'm going to tell you the process I used. When you're removing wallpaper, you, you remove it in steps of difficulty. So you try the least intrusive measure first. Just wetting the edges, that didn't work. And so then I decided that I would penetrate the sheets of wallpaper horizontally, vertically. I would cross cut the sheets, penetrating in a checker-like fashion the wallpaper so that I could wet it and saturate the, um, saturate the uh, glue underneath it to lift it. Now, the walls were not prepped at all. In fact, over here, when I pulled the sheet off, I didn't even touch this with anything. It just came off. The, uh, the skin on the sheetrock just came off. So this is, I feature this because this is, was the most difficult wallpaper removal I've ever done, meaning that it caused the most damage, okay? If you remove your wallpaper, don't blame it on yourself if your walls look like this, depending on how you did it. If you just use water and you're lifting it and it's coming off, and all of a sudden the skin of the sheetrock underneath it comes off, it's because the walls underneath the wallpaper were not uh, primed properly. And so there you have it. This is a repair job that needs to be done now. These walls need to be uh, primed with a, uh, with a glue arresting primer. And what is that? That's an alcohol or an oil-based primer. Why? Because the glue is water-based. It's water-soluble. And if you should put a latex primer on that, you will activate the glue and you will prevent the glue, you will prevent the, um, the primer from sealing the wall underneath it. And so you need to sand this off when it's dry. You leave it overnight, you let it dry. And then you prime it, even with the bumps and all that stuff on it. It's good. And then what you do is you mix joint compound and um, uh, joint compound and dry plaster together, mixing what's called a hot mud. And then you fill in all of these things. These walls aren't too bad. You just need two layers of skin on it, you know, skim coat. It's called a level five finish. A professional will have this done in about five to six hours, the whole room. And then you just prime it again and paint it. But this is the uh, expense that you go through when you don't properly seal the joint compound and the drywall underneath it. And so I'm just waiting until this, the rest of this saturates so that I can take it off. It was quite a tedious task. What else did I use? I used the Wagner steamer. It was the first time, this was the most difficult wallpaper removal I've ever done. And I've never used any steamer or anything like that, but I actually used it for this job. And I highly recommend it. Uh, that in conjunction with elbow grease, you will get the wallpaper off. And uh, there you have it. So you see how it's coming down? Look, look how it's taken off the wall underneath it. Just see? And all I did was put water on it. So this is not the wallpaper remover's fault. It's, it's the person who didn't prime the walls beforehand. And so there you have it. This is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. Please click on like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.